Ah, how did you do in chemistry when you were in yeah. school, huh? Was it tough? Was it fun? Uh, how's it, how are your kids doing? Well, Melanie Fine is here today. She's got a program that can make this fun, they can learn, and it just takes 10 minutes at a time. How'd you come up with the idea for Chem in 10? Well, I am a high school chemistry teacher, and I have students who are struggling with chemistry. In fact, I talk to any adult, they'll say, oh, chemistry is my worst subject. So my worst subject, and, and the kids are struggling, and they have short attention spans. So what I did is created 10-minute videos. The kids sit and watch a video. Then they also do practice problems to help develop the skills. So this is online. This is online, completely online. And, and you're also, you've got a little project going to, to raise some money to support that, right? Right. I have an Indiegogo crowdfunding campaign. And actually, today is the last day that I'm asking for people to help me fund this great effort. We're also going to expand to physics in 10 and math in 10. And so this is great for students, but it's also great for parents because it gives parents a source to help their students Sure, and, but little chunks, that's the key. Ten minutes at a time, make it a really focused lesson. Now, uh, tell, tell me again how, uh, we're going to demonstrate here in a second, folks, and you're going to want to support this. So how do they go support you again? They go to um, Indiegogo.com. Indie. Uh, Indie, I-N-D-I-E. Go, go. Go, go dot com dot com. forward slash chem in 10. And they also can vi visit my website, chemin10.com. Chemin10.com. Okay, G give us an example here. Let's make something. Uh, since you brought me safety goggles, I'm pretty yeah. sure I'm supposed to put them on. So I'll do that too. I have to be a good example to my students, right? And I'll just put my hands in my pockets here and pretend like I'm the, uh, the all-knowing scientist that uh, is overseeing your experiment. What Excellent. are we doing? I thought you were going to be my lovely assistant. All right, I'll be your lovely okay. assistant. <laughs> it's okay. been probably more appropriate. <laughs> Well, I, I probably will need a lovely assistant here. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm pouring hydrogen peroxide um, in a beaker. Um, this is store-bought 3% hydrogen peroxide. That's the kind you just use to clean a wound and exactly. that type of thing? Okay. And when you clean a wound, you, you, what happens? It, it bubbles, right? Right. That's the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide because hydrogen peroxide is H2O2. It's made of water and oxygen. And it's a natural process for it to decompose, but we can help it Hydrogen along a little. Hydrogen peroxide. Peroxide. Oh, how about that? Yeah, there you got go. Got it now. There you go. And um, I'm going to really load the decks here and add a lot. See, uh -oh. we, we chemists like to do this with 30% hydrogen peroxide. Unfortunately, I didn't get 30%, so I have just the regular 3%. This one actually is 6% you can get at a uh, beauty supply store. Oh, so uh, you really, you would have preferred to really light this thing up, wouldn't you? Well, yeah, it <laughs> okay. would have been all over the place, and, and it would be much more eye-catching. But, but this way, I can show you how you can do this at home. Okay. And, of course, you know, what you do in a chemistry experiment, you always add soap. Why you Now, add what does soap? the soap do? So, it this helps. is going to create oxygen, right? Okay. Um, it's going to break down into oxygen and water. And so what the soap is going to do, it's just going to catch the oxygen and, and foam out. And we're hoping that it's pretty dramatic. Um, and then, if you'd like, um, do you want any color you prefer? Yeah, yep. I think we should make this, uh, let's make it red. Let's make Shall it we? Halloween red. Okay, yeah, Halloween red. red. There we go. Maybe a little bit more. Okay. 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 There we go. Excellent. Now, I have to tell you that, that um, if this doesn't happen really fast, I'm just going to start adding a lot more stuff. So what I'm going to add to it is not anything that makes the reaction happen. It just makes it happen faster. It's called a catalyst. And you can So that's, again, that's part of the lesson. Catalyst part. makes things happen faster. Right, okay. right. They, just, they make things happen faster. They're not part of the reaction. You could, use, you could buy yeast in the store and uh, mix it with warm water and then pour it in. I actually have potassium iodide, but I don't know. Maybe the yeast will work better. And what I, what I would like to do, and again, this is better with the 30% hydrogen peroxide is that's 30 percent by volume is um, put the pumpkin on top and then and then have it ooze through the pumpkin but we'll see okay. if we get enough ooze for that to happen all right today. so I'm, Actually, I'm getting ready to place the pumpkin then right? okay you want to okay. do that sure okay. well you know i've got the gloves i think maybe oh. i should do that why don't you pour it here you do that you ready yeah go for okay, it here we go okay okay there we are it's going to start i'm just going to add a little bit more to our friend here here it comes i see some foaming it's yes. beginning to happen. There we go. Maybe, maybe. We maybe go ahead, to... pour some more in there. Let's do it. Let's make it Let's happen. Let's do it. Okay. Nice. Nice. Matt. Okay, and then it may start getting messy. Well, we hope we so. Wasn't that the whole hope, point? Yeah, we always hope for the mess. You know, kids like mess and thing, kids like things that go boom. There we go. There we go. Look at that. And then, and then for added effect, you could put the pumpkin on top and see if it oozes out of the pumpkin. It's made... Let's get that more centered on the camera here and see it sort of giving out out of its mouth some nice <laughs> ooey, okay, foamy, now we're talking. oxygen-y stuff. Now we're talking. Okay, Melanie, again, it's Chem and 10. It's online lessons. You're going to expand out to uh, 
to physics and math. Physics and math as well. Those are the well. areas that we really need help as a country. And <laughs> so, so, see? <laughs> That's great. <laughs> He's a, he's a and, and yeah, and that was part of your motivation is we, we rank like like 25th, 26th in the world in, in these uh, disciplines, and that's just not right. We should be leading the way in these things. And and we can't just entertain them. You know, this is entertaining and this is great and this gets kids excited, but we need to then provide the scaffolding and the groundwork to teach the kids so that they can succeed. Because even at the high school level, if they do well when they get to the college level, they find that it's just too hard. So if we can give them the skills, and with my website, Chem and 10, that's my goal, to actually have them work through the problems, develop the skills, so that they can master sciences. So help support that, you go to chemintend.com? Chemintend.com. C-H-E-M That's the website. Com. And then the um, crowdfunding campaign is at indiegogo.com forward slash chemintend. Forward slash chemintend. Indiegogo.com forward slash chemintend. All right, folks, support. And let's, uh, let's have some fun, and let's uh, elevate those test scores here all around the country. It's good to see you. Thank you so nice much. Job. Thank you for having me.